Hi guys, it's Huff. I am back again. This is going to be part four of my makeup collection for this year. I did one of these last year, or it might be almost 18 months ago now. It's been a little while. Um, I, I, th I thought my makeup collection was getting smaller. Uh, turns out it's not the case. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so this time round we are going through this particular drawer here, which has quite a bit of product in it. Uh, most of this stuff is blush. Uh, there is a few bronzers. Um, I think I have a couple of Z palettes in here. There's some highlighters in here. Um, <laughs> so it, it, it should be interesting, um, I think. I am filming this at night, so the light will be a little bit weird. Um, hopefully it won't look too bad to you guys when I upload it. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in seeing what is in this drawer of goodies, then keep on watching. Um, you have to excuse like the mess that is on my table behind over here. This is my work table and I didn't really tidy up too much before I started. <laughs> so let's just get started. So the first thing I see, oh look you can see me. Yay. Hello. Um, this is the Liqueur Beauty Stepping Out Contouring Palette. I just did a review on this, so I will, um, I did a get ready with me first impression, so I will link that down below so you can go and have a look at that. Um, this is what it looks like. It has two blusher type, uh, two contour type shades and two highlighter shades. Um, the depth of the pan is actually a pain in the rear end, and it is not the best, quite frankly. It's okay, but, you know, um, but it is what it is, and that's how you find out, is by trying stuff out. So, that is that one. Next one is one of my favourite contouring uh, type palettes, although the highlighter is not great it's okay this is from bys which is a brand that you get at kmart in australia uh low cost and pretty good quality um i have quite a lot of their nail polishes because they're really really good this was actually in my kit um for when i was doing beauty school and when i was doing some makeup stuff with other people because it is just universally quite good um this is actually in o2 sweet so it has the contoury type shade is a little bit warm for someone with my colouring, but um, that's the the blush though is really really gorgeous. Um, I'm not even going to bother swatching it under my hand, but look what happens when I take it off. It's got quite a bit of pigment to it. Um, I use this quite a bit. It's it might not look like it, but I did actually use it quite a bit. It was way better than what came with my actual kit. Uh, we have this Chi Chi blush. I got this one from Tamara J. This is Pink Peach Mosaic blush. Uh, doesn't want to open. So it's one of those ones that's got lots of colours and you sort of like swirl your finger and mix it together. It's very peachy toned again. It's, it's quite a light one, which is fine for people like me who have who have a fairly light complexion. I probably won't swatch everything that's in here because there is quite a bit of it. Um, then we have Revlon's Playful Plum. This was another one that I got from Tamara J. Um, it's a quite a deep plummy shade. I haven't actually used it, but I fear that one would have to be very careful um, with the application of said product. Um, it looks like it blends out really nicely, which is really good. But you would want to use a light hand with a colour this dark, especially on um, pasty complexions like mine. Then we have this one from Calvin Klein, which is called Berry Shimmer. It is um, a lighter version, basically, of the Revlon one. Um, I actually quite like this one. I've worn this quite a few times. Uh, I have one of these contour highlight um, palette things from LA Colour. Contour in this is way too dark for me. I could almost use it as bronzer because it's actually quite warm. 
Um, I probably more likely to use it as eyeshadow, quite frankly. Um, and then there's the blush. This one is in Hottie. I have another one which I basically panned. Um, it's either the, I think it was the contour out of it. Um, yeah. So, um, but it's not in this drawer. It's somewhere else. And may not have actually got counted in my inventory. <laughs> I have this Makeup Geek one. Again, this one I got from Tamara. This one is Love Affair. It's, it's beautiful. I haven't actually used it yet. I never used to like blush, and now I have so much of it that I can't actually use it all. Um, that's why I'm trying to work through stuff. This one is from LA Colors. This one is Blushing Pink. Um, and it used to have a little brush in the bottom. It has a little mirror in the bottom, which seems to me really, really stupid. <laughs> How are you supposed to use it properly? Uh, anyway, um, it is a fairly bright pink. Um, and it's got chunks out of it. I don't know why. That's just weird. Maybe I tried to depot that one. I don't know. Uh, this is a Jordana one. Jordana's not that easy to get in Australia. It's not that cheap. This one is Rose Silk. It's a very soft, light kind of blush. It's more of like, like everyday kind of blush tone. Uh, very natural looking, quite beautiful. Uh, I have this Physician's Formula in Rosy Glow, which I've used it a couple of times. It kind of, it's it comes across really, um, it, I don't know, it's almost too light to be a blush, but if you wanted a very natural look, it would probably be fine. I clearly haven't used it too much. <laughs> this one is supposed to be a blush in Natural by LA Colors. Um, it's quite uh, brown, but not really brown. It's actually quite a good color. It's, it, it works for what it's supposed to be, as opposed to being like bright pink. It's supposed to be more natural looking. I have this NYX Mosaic Powder. This one's in Plummy. I actually panned the highlighter version of this one. <laughs> so I know I can get through this. Mind you, it took me like 18 months to use it up, and I was pretty bloomin' heavy-handed with it. Um, so this will probably take quite a while. But I like this because it's slightly more purpley toned. Um, but the having the extra colours in it, you could if you wanted... Like, maybe if you wanted to use this more as, like, eyeshadow, you could pick out these different tones and do something like that. But I just swirl my brush on it because the, otherwise it's just too much like hard work. Um, I got this one. In fact, I've got a couple of them probably from Shop Miss A. You know, they look really gorgeous until you put a brush in them. Um, because they have all this overspray. You can see where the overspray has come off. Um, you, you kind of go past the overspray. And it's just a really, really light, light, light pink. It's almost highlighter colour. In fact, I probably could use it as a highlighter and I'm pasty pale, which says something. Um, on the back of it, it doesn't tell you anything except the ingredients. Um, yeah. <laughs> There's one of those, oh, look, it's only a dollar. Let's buy that. Probably not a great idea. Um, this one is from Savvy, which is a designer brand's brand. You can get from Priceline. Um, this is a graduated blush, so um, basically I just swirl my brush in it. But if I hadn't tainted this side of it, you could probably use that side as a highlighter or even this side as a highlighter because they're both pretty light. Um, but I just tend to go like that. And get a light coloured blush out of it instead. Um, another one that I really need to work through. But it wasn't super expensive. Yeah. For someone who doesn't like. Well never used to wear blush. I have an absolute ton of it now. Um, I've had this one for a while. And I've tried panning it twice. And never seemed to get anywhere. 
Um, this is from Hope Girl. This is actually a powder blush in pink, oh, girly pink. It's actually quite sparkly. Um, and I used this like a heap, an absolute heap, and it still has absolutely oodles in it. it frankly, it's driving me mad that I can't get rid of it. <laughs> I mean, I suppose I could throw it away, but I find it very difficult to throw stuff away unless I absolutely hate it. It's not that I hate that product, it's just taking me forever. Uh, this is the Physician's Formula Nude Wear Natural. Um, this broke, so I repressed it into this container here. And I tried to pan this one too, and I worked on it for ages and never seemed to actually get anywhere. <laughs> it's not that I don't like it, it's just, it just seems to be taking forever. There's a heap of product in there. It's, it's, there's so much in there. Because I don't know if you've seen the nude natural ones, they're the ones that come in a square box type thing that's... It, it seems really big when you've got it. Um, this is not Essence All About Matte Loose Fixing Powder. This is, in fact, a blusher. This is the Cosmetics Kitchen Strawberry Mineral Blusher. Um, it came in this really big, bulky package, which I absolutely hated. Um, and when I finished my Essence Powder, I stuck the blush in here. It is... Oh, this is dangerous. It is super messy. It's actually a really nice colour. It's just super messy. Not a huge fan. I mean, maybe I will be if I actually used it more often and I'd get used to it and then I'd probably miss it when it was all gone. You know how it is. Um, this one is from Sati, Santi, which is another one from Shop Missy. Um, I'm not really sure what the point of putting an SPF in a product is unless it's um, a mineral one because all the rest of them they stop working after a period of time. Um, this is number six. I don't know what color it is supposed to be, but you can see there is a uh, there's so much product in there. Just looking and thinking that's going to take me a lifetime to actually use up. <laughs> uh, I have this Face of Australia one. Uh, this is in Hello Dolly. I'm pretty sure this came in a subscription box. It's just a pale pink. It's fine. Um, this is apparently blush. This is from OXX, which is a brand that you can get at Kmart in Australia. And um, they don't have names on them or anything on any of these products. Um, on some people, this would almost be a bronzer. It's got that kind of tone to it. Um, but it's a nice sort of natural blush. Then I have this one from La Cura Beauty. This one is a Soft Rose and Rose Duo. This, this container is so misleading because when you look at it like that you think, oh yeah, there's heaps in there. There's actually not very much product in this. It's only that there, which is not the best for getting your brush in apart from anything else. Um, it's four grams of product apparently. Um, but it's a nice enough blush. And then I have this one, which is also from the Cosmetic Kitchen, like the mineral powdery one. But this is a pressed one. This is a Cyberry, which is it's actually a beautiful, beautiful colour. So that is those ones. Then I have this Z palette, which has a whole bunch of... Just trying to make me look like I'm a weakling. Um, this one is from LA Girl. This one is Dusty Rose. Uh, this one, I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's sad, isn't it? This one is from Smooch. This is Peachy. This one is an LA Colors one in Autumn. And this is another LA Colors one, but I don't know what color that one is. This one here 
looks like a benefit one. No, it's not. It's too thick. Um, I don't know what that one is either. It's really nice though. Some of these were mine and some of these were ones that I, I got. Another one which I don't know what it is. It's got a massive crack in it. Gotta be careful with that one. And this one, which I don't know what it is either. But it's a very soft pink. So that's one of my Z palettes. And then I have this other Z palette. This one has actually got eyeshadows in it as well as some blushes. Um, this here is um, Havana from Benefit. That's like my most expensive blush. I got it from Tamara J. Those are ridiculously expensive in Australia. Um, I don't know what that one is. <laughs> this one is from um, Maybelline. This is Brick Rose. This one here is Makeup Geek. This is Rendezvous. This is a Sephora shadow. I got all of these ones here from Tamara J. So that one is from Sephora. I don't know what color it is. This one. All the other eyeshadows are all Makeup Geek. So this is Houdini. Uh, I think this one's Cocoa Bear. Yep. Cocoa Bear. Um, this one is Mocha. This one is Unexpected. This one. This one is Purely Naked. Um, this one with hard pan on it is Cupcake. I'll have to scrape that one. That black one is Corrupt. And it goes everywhere. Uh, this is glamorous. Get back in there. Um, this one up here, ugh, just made a mess, is Envy. Um, pretty sure that one there is Caitlin Rose. That was the one that she did for charity. Uh, that one is Shima Shima. This one is Razzleberry, and the last one is Mango Tango, which is actually my favourite drink from um, Boost Juice. So there you go. So that's what's in my other Z palette. So the other things that are in here, whoa, throw them around. This is Mellow's um, Bronze Face Blush. They, they call it a blush, even though they then called it bronze. I just whacked my thumb into it. Um, yeah, so it's it's a fairly natural toned blush. This is Laura Mercier's um, Golden Mosaic Shimmer Block. It is shimmery as hell, that thing. I've used it a couple of times. I actually wasn't that impressed with it. Is that a bad thing? Because Laura Mercier is not exactly cheap. Uh, this is from Claytime Australia. This is one of their mineral bronzes. Um, maybe they only make one. It's apparently limited edition. But it just looks really warm to me. Oh, maybe it's not so bad. See, I clearly haven't used it. I have so much makeup that it's really hard to use everything. Which is why I'm not buying makeup at the moment, is because I just have so much. Um, I have this from Fashion Secret. This is a face highlighter in Sunshine. It's a liquid version of it. It's from Fashionista. They actually do some really good products, but you can't get them anymore. So this is just yeah, the kind of thing that you can either mix into your foundation or just put a bit on your cheeks for a bit of a warm glow. This one is the So Susan water-based pure luminizer. This is the same kind of thing. It doesn't appear to have that much product in it. Because I'm squeezing that really hard and not getting anything out. Hey, that's like really disappointing. I should put this one in a project because I don't reckon it would take me that long to use it. Because I don't think there's that much Oh, did you see that? 
It all just, it's broken like right there. Great. Gee, boys. Yeah, I'm definitely putting that one in a project. That might be my highlighter thingy for 17 and 17. I might have to try and find a container. Just look what I just did. I'm going to have to find a container to put that into. I think I have one. Something that I just emptied. So, See, this is the fun of me doing videos like this. Because I'm really not going to edit this. So you're going to get all of the weird stuff in it. <laughs> Too bad if you don't like it. Uh, this is from the Cosmetics Kitchen as well. This is their Macadamia Wax Cream Highlighter. So again, it's the same... The same idea as the other one. This is just, this is the thing I noticed the one time I tried to use it, is it's actually quite stiff. It's a very thick, um, it's a very thick formula. But you really wouldn't need very much because it's so thick. It's very shimmery on my hand, looks cute. Um, yeah, so that's that one. And then I have from Emite Makeup, this is their BB Highlighting Pen in Cocoa. Um, I'm not really sure how the hell I'm supposed to use this. Because that's like straight up yellow and I'm pink. Um, I guess they're kind of thinking under eye brightening type thing. But like even a banana powder probably wouldn't work on me because I'm so pale. Um, yeah, so that is everything that is in that particular drawer of fun. Um, I'm just going to clean off my hands while I'm talking to you. Um, yeah, so that is part four of my makeup collection. That is that drawer done. If you want to see more of the stuff that I have, there will be more videos coming and there are already three up on my channel. I will try to make a playlist. Um, yeah, so if you want to see more, then click the subscribe button down there, and then you will see all my uploads. Uh, leave me a thumbs up if you like makeup inventory type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I will see you in my next video. See ya!